My name is Travis Assiniboine. I'm a member of the Dakota TP First Nation. Um, I'm also a constable with the Manitoba First Nations Police Service. I have seven months service and I took my training in 2015 at Assiniboine Community College um, Integrated Police Studies Program. So it was an all First Nations police policing uh, program that was put together um, basically in the part with the partnership with the RCMP uh, geared towards hiring um, First Nations into policing. Uh, after that, I got uh, experience in security work. I got experience also in the sheriff service with the Manitoba government. When I was uh, attending Assiniboine Community College for the Integrated Police Studies program, uh, they did teach us a lot about the you know criminal code, report writing, um, community-based policing, and uh, just basic all the you know standard policing that we that, that any police officer would receive uh, when they're out in the field. Uh, but a majority of my experience for edu education on uh, First Nations or Indigenous backgrounds was actually when I got into the community. Um, a lot of communities are different in many, or in, in many aspects. So uh, when I was doing my training, um, we weren't taught basically the the backgrounds of each community, right? So it was, it was standard and it was, it was when we got into the community is when you really learn uh, about the indigenous education. So when we get into the communities, uh, when you get there, a lot of your education or a lot of the stuff that you are taught is taught by community members and elders. So. Uh, I did speak to some elders in some communities and they were, you know, basically giving us a rundown of how things uh, are done in the communities from many aspects, whether it be uh, traditions or uh, the culture and stuff like that, because where I come from, my culture is different than the community that, the communities that I, I, that I do police when I'm there. The Indigenous education means to me that it comes from within the community and the surrounding areas, right? It, it, it's not really taught out, outside of the communities. It's really community-based education, right? So when you get into that community, that community will tell you how they would like things done. So it really is, you're, when you get there, they gear it, they, the community wants you to have an idea of, okay, this is how we do our things out here. So you, you really do learn when you get there. A lot of the major values that I learned is that a lot of these communities, a lot of the communities that I've policed and that I've been on are really big on keeping community members in the community. And they do that by such things as diversion programs or um, what we call restorative justice or sharing circles. So it, that's really big in, in, in the community that I'm specifically policing on right now is Weiwei Sikapo. If we have the opportunity to keep the community together and not lay a, a charge and put somebody into the criminal justice system, then we'll do that. We'll, we'll, we'll send them to a diversion program where those people can get together and they can come up with uh, a way that they could resolve this within the community and not have somebody put into that justice system. So I've only been on the job, you know, approximately seven months. Um, so, you know, in, in 10 years' time, what, what I would like to see is a lot of police services, and I know that they're starting to do it now, is have more cultural orientated training specific to that community that, or specific to the communities that they're policing. So if, for example, um, the RCMP is going to go to... Uh, like my community, Dakota TP. What I would like to see is members from whatever police service is going to take over or police that community should go to that community and speak with the elders, speak with the people and say, you know, what would you like to see from us as a police service to better uh, police your community or better educate our members on how things are done out here and how your guys' culture and education and justice system may work within your community. I think that's really a, a big key point.
for a lot of police services is educating their members on the communities that they're going to go to.